All right. Good evening, everybody, or whatever time is where you're watching this from. Uh, welcome along to our weekly training call. And today it is my pleasure uh, to introduce our amazing, incredible uh, leader from the sunny Trinidad and Tobago, um, Clifton David Ryan, who's going to be sharing with you today uh, some of his ideas, some of his um Thoughts. I hope you got your pen and paper ready uh, to take some good notes today because there's going to be lots of great stuff. Over to you, Clifton. Stage is yours. Blessed afternoon or good evening to everyone wherever in the world that you are. And I really appreciate this opportunity. Thanks so much, Kiraminas, for hosting me this evening. And thank you, Irina, for the opportunity to train not just my team, but um, your entire organization. It's a, it's a real privilege. The, the topic I want to talk about this evening or this afternoon is no IQ level, no IQ level. And I know IQ, uh, you would normally know that it stands for intelligence quotient. And it really measures the ability of a person to reason. That's what it basically means. But just for this training session this evening, IQ is going to really stand for I quit. I quit. Um, so the topic is no I quit level. There is absolutely no level that you should reach to that will cause you to say I quit. Uh, what will it take for you to say I quit? What will it take for you to say I quit? That's it. I'm done with this. What will it take? Well, my answer is nothing, absolutely nothing. And I want that to be your answer this evening also. So I'm asking you this afternoon, what is your IQ level? What will it take for you to say, I quit? And I want you to answer that before I even get into this training this evening by simply typing in the chat, nothing. Nothing will make me say, I quit. There should be no level of frustration or no level of temptation that would cause you to say I quit and why did I decide to train on this topic this evening because it's my experience and more than anything else that I'm going to share with you this evening is my personal experience in the building of this business here in the Caribbean miles away from where all the action really is <laughs> and that's what I want to share with you guys this evening because I know sometimes you get frustrated in this business and you think about quitting. And I know sometimes some temptations arise and you think about quitting. So I'm gonna get into it. And first I wanna talk about frustrations. And I wanna take you back to um, 2012 when that I started this business in 2010, November month. I decided finally to get started after my friend was chasing after me for nine months to just look at the opportunity. I eventually decided to say yes, attended a business presentation, and I immediately made my decision that I was going to build this business. And a lot happened between 10, 2010 and 2012, uh, including the launch of a, an office for us here in Trinidad and Tobago that would supply the Caribbean region. However, in 2012, for various reasons, the office closed. We were out of a supply of the product. And even though that had happened to us, and it frustrated over 15, over 1,700 distributors that we had here in the Caribbean back then, we said that we were not going to quit. We love the business. We love the product. We love the compensation plan. We love the opportunity. We love the leadership of the company. There is absolutely nothing wrong. The person who owned the office here, I think something was probably wrong with them. But FM World did absolutely nothing to us. So we said we are going to stay true to this company and we'll find a way to get going again. Now, did it frustrate the masses? Yes. Did some of these people quit? Yes. But I guess that was their IQ level. But it wasn't mine. And that's why I'm asking you this evening, what is your IQ level? What would push you to the point to say that you will quit? And I believe this is one of the reasons for my little bit of success that I have with this company so far, my ability to not quit. I think that is the reason for my little bit of success this evening. And that is what I want to inject in you this evening. No IQ level. Now, when this company, when the office closed, the owner of the office, really what he did was launched a new network marketing business that he offered to us. 
but we did not go for it. And that's one of the temptations. And that's what I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. We did not go for it. We stayed focused. And uh, that's where we kind of got in touch with Irina a little bit. And um, uh, my upline back then communicated with her, met with her. And we got business going again, now being a part of Irina's team. And it has been an amazing journey thus far. So don't quit when you get frustrated. Now, my same upline who met with Irina and, and we got business going again in 2016, and this is a second point of frustration, he decided to quit. He decided I was too tough. You know, uh, I'm not making the kind of money I want to make. And uh, another opportunity was introduced to him and he thought he would have made more money with that opportunity. And he wanted to do it. So he decided to quit. So I, decide, I think that that was his IQ level. And he decided to quit. Now, when he quit, he was the one that was leading the entire organization here. He was the one that was bringing the goods in and supplying the distribution network, the network here. He was the one that was taking care of that. When he did that, and because of the influence that he had, obviously some of the team members would have left and gone with him. Now, mind you, I built my business to 21%. Up until 2012, the office closed and business crashed. So I had to rebuild. Now we started rebuilding in 2014, got all the way up to 15%, was really tough because some people doubted because of all the negative things that were being said about the company. So I got back up to 15%. My upline decides he's gonna quit. Some of my team members went. But I said to myself, you know what? This is not my IQ level. I'm not going to quit. I am going to continue. I will persevere. I was determined. I know what I did. I took all the money that I did not have. Rent. Utilities. Even some groceries. And I told my wife, listen. Something ridiculous happened in the network. I need to do something ridiculous also. So I could draw some attention back to this business. And I hopped on a plane. I went all the way to the UK to meet the lovely Irina Oliver and Gideminas at Irina's home and attend the UK conference in 2016. I never forgot the theme of that conference. It was really amazing. Change your life. And it certainly did change my life. So because that wasn't my I quit level and I did something ridiculous, it drew more attention back to the business again. And uh, I was able to start building again from 2016. Now, mind you, when I left the training, uh, the event, I remember Gideminas was one of the speakers the day, and uh, Gideminas had a fabulous talk that day, together with a couple other speakers. But I, I can never forget Gideminas' talk because he, he, he did something uh, with a pen, an illustration, called somebody up on the stage, and uh, he gave it to the person and he said, "Try to drop this on the floor." And the guy dropped it, and he said, "No, I didn't say I didn't say drop it. I said try to drop it." And the guy was kind of confused, and he said, "Exactly." It's either you're dropping it or you're not dropping it. We don't try to do things. And I never forgot that. And that has helped me in my business. So we don't try things here in Trinidad. We do things here in Trinidad. Yeah? Even though the word Trinidad starts T-R-I, so you can, we can pronounce as try. But we don't try things here. We do things here, right? We get things done. And uh, I thank God for all of the inspiration, training, everything that we get from the leaders that we were able to interact with. Irina Oliver, Gideminas. Yeah, do do it. Don't try it. Yeah. So upline quits, but I did not quit. Would you quit this business if your upline quits? Will you? Will that be your IQ level? Will you quit this business if the UK office closes and they say they're not doing any business anymore? Will that be your IQ level? Because that's what happened to us here. Or would you find a way to get the business going again? Yeah, I'm just being as real as possible. I'm not expecting the UK office to close, but I'm just saying, right? We experienced it here, right? Then we got going again. And I promised Irina when I left the event, I said, I feel like I could fly back to Trinidad with no aircraft. You know, I could just fly right now. You know, the talks are so powerful. And I said to Irina, she said, so Clifton, what level are you going to achieve when you get back home? I said, Irina, I'm going to get to 21%. I was struggling to maintain even 6% or 9% at that time. I said, I'm going to get to 21%. That was October. I didn't do it. November. She said, Clifton, what's happening? I didn't do it. December. Good month. 
I didn't do it. And that's how it continued to go, but I did not quit. And it wasn't until I think May of 2017, like seven months later, I actually got back to 21%. Then we worked and worked in August that year to Pearl Orchid. And I think uh, October that year, got to Amaranth to Orchid for the very first time and uh, was able to qualify. I still have my trophy on my desk here for my first FM World anniversary and went to Punta Cana with my wife, yeah? Now, if I had quit, I would not have experienced that and get to meet all these wonderful leaders and Mr. Chowinski for the second time because I met him in the UK. All these different things I've experienced because I did not quit. Now, things going good again, and because we are all the way over here in Trinidad, we started having some logistics issues. We work with the FMO distribution office, as most of you would know, and we were, be, we were able to order 400 points in products, and it was free shipping. Then the company realized, wait, we are losing money. It's costing us too much money to ship to Trinidad or to the Caribbean or even to the US. We have to add a shipping rate. And they added a shipping rate of 50 euros. That was a big jump from free to 50 euros. We had to figure out a way to sell this to the team and keep them ordering still, letting them know this is no issue. Let's just keep going. That was difficult. And we lose, again, some team members because of that. 50 euros. You know what? In our money, that's $400 in our money. That's plenty from zero to 400. But you know what? That wasn't my IQ level. Then the company said that 50, 50 euros was not enough. They increased it to 55. And we had to figure out a way to inspire the team to still keep going. Then the company says, here's what. We can't do it how we, do, how, how we um, are doing it still. The weight is an issue. So now we need to figure out what weight to charge, what price. So then again, the cost went up because of the weight situation. Again, we had to influence the team that it's okay, let's keep going. This is not the adequate level. After all of that had been settled, between DHL and FM World Distribution, their contract was closed for a period of time. And we could receive zero shipments. It was crazy. So we had to, I had to negotiate with FM World Distribution that my team will continue to place their orders. And when it gets up to 20 boxes, the distribution office places it on a pallet, sends it to Trinidad. I had to then hire a broker, customs broker, clear these packages. And then I had to do the distribution to all my team members here. People took two months, three months, up to four months to get a product that they ordered. Logistics, not my fault, not anybody else's fault. Contract between two companies. Was that my IQ level, guys? No, that was not my IQ level. And I thank God for the team members that I have. Some dedicated leaders like Ian Anthony and Estan Boswell and Kenwin James and um, Elizabeth Kalinda and Genevieve Roban and Lejeune Burton and all these leaders. Um, I shouldn't be calling names because I, I may forget to call some, but anyway. They know I love them all, I respect them all, and they are so committed and dedicated that despite all the challenges, my hardcore leaders have remained and stood with me and we continue to grow. I'm asking you this afternoon or this evening, what is your IQ level? What is going to happen in this business that will, say, that will cause you to say the words, that's it, I quit. What is gonna cause you to say that? I've seen team members because a product did not come or a product was not available, they're so upset and they quit. I've seen pro uh, team members, they can't get in touch with their upline for assistance with something, they got frustrated, they quit. Find somebody else to talk to, sell some other product to a person or tell them it's unavailable and when it becomes available, you get it to them. If they don't wanna ever buy from you again, that's them, there's 7 billion people in the world, but you don't quit on your multi-million dollar business because of these little issues. And I say little because I've experienced some very big ones here. Now, am I right in saying that you do get frustrated in your business sometimes? Sometimes it does get frustrating. Do you or do you not? 
Yes, you get frustrated sometimes, but what do you do when these frustration comes? I tell people, tough times don't last. Tough people do. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. So I'm going to move on to temptations now. We've covered frustrations. I've just mentioned a few. I could give you a whole lot more stories. But I want to move to temptations now because this one happens every single day within the network marketing space. And it causes some people to say, I quit. They quit on their opportunity to move to a new one. And it's what one of my mentors, Brian Carruthers, calls an SOS. And some of you get SOS sometimes. Every day, get SOS. What is an SOS? It's a, it's a shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome. There are so many persons out there in the network marketing space that, that shares with you shiny objects. They tell you that your company is better than yours. They tell you that the compensation plan is better than yours. They tell you that the products are magical products. It's almost like if once you just sign up, it's like you instantly become a, a magical millionaire or something. That's how they make you feel sometimes. I want to warn you guys today about these shiny object syndromes. I want to warn you on this today because this causes a lot of people to quit. Irina has what, uh, 15 years in the business now, Irina? 15? I am certain some of the best in the industry has approached Irina for her to come over to their team or their company. Gideminas, I think, is what, about the same amount of years in the business also? I am certain he's been uh, invited several times to other opportunities. But that was not their IQ level. Me, I was invited, firstly, by my own upline when he decided that he found his IQ level, he invited me to this opportunity also. He said, Clifton, come take a look. Might I say to you, this is my first sister's husband. So we had a very close relationship, very, very close. Still do, because family, that's my brother-in-law. Still do, we have a very close relationship. We worked together for several years. I have a lot of respect for him. He's a very, very aggressive businessman. And Irina knows that. He, 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 when he decides he's doing something, he gets it done. He's, he's ridiculous, I'm telling you. So he had, he had a lot of influence over my life. But when he made that move, I said, you know what? This is not my IQ level. And maybe you guys need to start practicing that line because yeah? frustrations are going to come. Temptations are going to come. So when it happens, just say it to yourself. This is not my IQ level. <laughs> I'm tougher than this. Tough times don't last, tough people do. So start saying that to yourself. This is not my IQ level. Come on, keep moving forward. That's it. So I said, this is not my IQ level. And I told him, I said, you know what? I'm good. I see, I see you go ahead. If that's your thing, you found something new, you go ahead. I'm going to stay here. It was tough. I said, I'm going to stay here and figure this thing out all by myself. That's all right. You go ahead. And so I did. But just when that happened and I was trying to figure things out, guess what happened, guys? A new company was about to be launched in our country. And one of the top leaders in the industry here that built to Diamond in his company and was making some good money here with his previous company, he called me. He said, Clifton, well, you know I'm no longer associated with the company that I was working with. You know, I built a Diamond there. We had massive success locally and internationally, but here's what, we're launching a new project. And I've seen you for the last few years really working hard with this business. And uh, I know you're not making the kind of money that you really wanna make right now, because I know I, I've studied your compensation plan. So I know, I know the level you're at, I know you're not making a lot of money right now. So here's what I'm gonna do for you. I spoke with my mentor, his mentor is a multimillionaire. He's one of the top earners in the network marketing industry as we speak making over 800,000 US dollars a month. That's his mentor. He works with him personally. He was making like 20,000 US dollars in his previous company. He said, Clifton, send me your passport. We are taking you to Las Vegas with us. All expenses paid to meet my mentor to learn about this new project. Now, mind you, my upline just left me. I'm struggling to maintain even 9% in the business. I'm not making money. He's very, he's very right. I'm not making any money. And here I'm being, I'm, I'm being offered an opportunity 
to fly to Las Vegas, <laughs> all expenses paid, and go to be mentored by a multimillionaire. You know what I said to him? I said, my friend, I really appreciate the opportunity, but I'm not finished with what I'm doing here just yet. I said, so I'm not going to take up a space on a plane that somebody else could use and benefit from it. So thank you very much, but no thanks. Love and respect you all the same, you know? Let's keep in touch, yeah? That was not my IQ level. Would it have been your IQ level with an offer like that? Would it have been? Not my IQ level. So I'm saying to you guys, matters not the frustration, matters not the temptations. What is your IQ level? What is your IQ level? I will not quit. Fraser Brooks said it. He said it takes time to develop the skills that you need. It takes time to develop it for you to have success in this business. Yes, you'll make some sales. Yes, you'll recruit some people. Yes, you'll make some money. But to make the kind of money that you really want to make in this business, it's going to take some time, just like any other profession. Give it the time and do not quit before PD. What is your IQ level? Practice saying it to yourself. When the frustrations come, the temptations come. This is not my IQ level. So I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to share this with you guys today. I trust that it added value to someone. I trust that if your IQ level was down here, that it hit the roof today and you will not quit despite what happens. Thank you very much, guys. I'm back to you, Gerominus. Thank you so much, Clifton. Absolutely incredible. I'm going to make it now that everybody can uh, unmute yourselves. Please, guys, give some love to Clifton in the comments or open your mic. Uh, say something. Great training. And what a story, eh? What a story. And you, maybe some of you thought you had it hard in this business, right? <laughs> Listen to this story, right? <laughs> After this story, I think everybody just, you know, you have no excuses. That's it. You just have to become a diamond. Exactly, exactly. And I uh, really happy that uh, actually in these trainings, when we get the business like doing like on Fridays, now we start, we just decided we've given us but we should uh, listen our leaders. And that is really where we need to start. And because really, because me and Gediminas are, we are witness how, uh, I remember how, when Clifton came, how we were talking. I even remember that like that day. So it's uh, uh, a really uh, powerful man with powerful story. And it's most interesting, which is when you listen, something sort oh, maybe something made up that is every single word is true so it's amazing amazing story I, and i think uh, gideminas you recorded so we will have this for long and the twins is inspire our uh, team members so guys uh i know clifton 